Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Now, some of our boats have been away to be refurbished. We're doing a big boat refurbishment this year. And um, these Tigers have come back absolutely factory fresh. So I thought it would be a great time to have a look at putting a diamond textured rubber on the decks, just like on the C2. Got hold of these sheets of diamond rubber grip. This is the Nautix brand that we've actually sourced in Greece. Uh, it's self-adhesive. I've already done some Hobie 16 sidebars as a little tester and they seem to be very nice. I'll do a video about how I did those. I recruited the help of master craftsman Ash who has lovingly made this template so that we're cutting each piece of rubber for each boat exactly the same. This is so that there's no trial and error with the actual rubber itself. Ash, approximately how long has it taken you to make that template? Oh, a couple of hours. Hopefully it all fits perfectly. So here we've got one of the sheets. Incidentally, this is one meter by 160, which isn't quite long enough to do the whole length. So we're gonna to have to do it in two separate pieces. So we're gonna start off by putting this on the table upside down. The template is actually exactly twice as long as the rubber. We're gonna cut the template in half where the join is going to be, which is gonna make it a lot easier to deal with. Now, having done quite a few of these, I have refined the process to make it more efficient. So what I've been doing is firstly, cutting the general size of each piece. And for these tigers, I've been doing 40 centimeters. So what I'll do is I'll kind of mark 40 centimeters every so often. And then, because we can't write on this waxy paper, I'll take the metal ruler and the Stanley knife, lining it up very carefully between these marks, making sure to be holding it very firmly. And then what I'll do is I'll just score through, not cutting all the way through, but just into the rubber. And now I've got that score line, which is both gonna make it easier to cut with the scissors, but it's also gonna be the line that I'm cutting down. So we've now marked the backing of the rubber. So now we can cut these shapes out. So I've already experimented with cutting the rubber with scissors or with a knife. And what I found is you get a far cleaner cut with the scissors. So what I found is to score the back sheet first before cutting makes the cut a lot more accurate. So that's why I'm just cutting with the knife just through the backing and then we'll cut it with the scissors. I might do this with the knife. Yeah. Gonna do the daggerboard slot with the knife. The scissors just too hard for me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, it's ready to go on the boat. We've cleaned the boat with acetone and I'm just gonna score the back. So it's gonna peel off in pieces. No. So we can do one piece at a time as we put it on. And 
and so on. We're going to go all the way along. Okay, so we've recruited Seb and Ash for this part. Um, we've got it all in position. Nerves are a little bit tense at the moment. The tension is high. And um, are we happy? Happy. Let's peel off the first section. That is commitment. So I've just peeled off the first bit of the first section. A bit, a bit of a cuddle and grunt. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull it all off. Yeah, I'll push it down in the middle first. I just think I should point out this time, I'm not an expert at doing this. In fact, this is the first one I've ever done. Um, so we're just making it up as we go along. Um, if you've got better ways for doing this, put it in the comments as quickly as you can so that by the time we do the next one, we can do it in an easier way. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's all done and it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the takeaways from it was definitely spend the time making a good template and then we really measured it up, recruit some extra help for putting it down because more people, definitely very useful indeed. And then cutting the backing into those strips really helped. 